Jordan, you're going to be heading to Cook Hall to work on your free throw shooting? Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> They're free for a reason. <laughs> so, oh, well, it's all right. We got the wins, and that's all that matters. You know, being able to go into the non-conference season now undefeated, you have that. Uh, going into the Big Ten season, rather undefeated. I mean, just you know, what does that do? Because you do have a couple of days off, but you do get to kind of enjoy this victory a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's a great accomplishment to you know be undefeated going into the Big Ten. But we took it one game at a time, and uh, that's the biggest thing. And um, we came out every game and um, attacked the same way. And that's what we need to do going forward as well. Just uh, go on one game, one streaks, and that's uh, our main goal. Matt, what kicked in the uh, the three point barrage, both from you and pretty much everybody? Yeah, it just uh, it just came down to our ball movement. The first half, we really we moved the ball well, but we just weren't getting shots to drop. And uh, we knew that coming out in the second half, as long as we kept playing well defensively, that we were going to knock down shots eventually. And uh, did a great job of moving the ball and sharing it, and uh, we were able to make shots. Man, it's your birthday, right? No. Nah. No. Nope. Dan's. Yep. Not till August. <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the, the philosophy that they've instilled in us where it's just the next man's up. And uh, we know that we come in every day and work hard together in practice and uh, work all off season to be able to, to take advantage of situations when you're, when you're put in there. And uh, it's unfortunate that it's through injury, but at the same time, you have to be prepared either way. And, uh, you know, we, we got some guys banged up, but they'll be back and uh, they're working hard to get back. Christian, what worked for you? It seemed for a while you could get anything to fall, and then all of a sudden everything you put up was going in just real quick. What changed? Oh, yeah, we were just moving the ball off this more than anything. You know, I was getting, first half I was getting good looks, and you know, I got those same looks in the second half, and you know, the, ball just, the ball just fell for me in the second half. You guys combined, the three of you, to make 11 threes. When you're facing a team that's sitting in a 2 3 zone, I mean, your, your eyes have to get big, right? Oh, yeah. You love it when people play zone. Um, but, I mean, it's just good because we move the ball so well and we don't really care who gets a shot. Um, just making an extra pass and um, we were able to knock them down in the second half more than, than anything, so that was really big. Hey, Jordan, what do you take away from these two games? They were blowouts, you guys won big. What did you guys learn? What did you guys do well? Kind of the tune up heading into Big Ten play? Um, well, I thought our focus was really good coming in both the games. Uh, like I said, we, we approached each game the same way, um, same film, same type of, you know, everything. So. I was really uh, proud of our focus and energy coming out. Uh, you know, even though when our shots weren't falling, then we still, you know, played some defense and uh, got it turned around. So I was really proud about that. How do you maintain that focus while still getting a couple days off here to be with family for the holidays? Um, the biggest thing, just uh, <coughs> we were talking about it actually in the, you know, locker room, and just you know, we want to maintain that focus and go on a Big Ten play uh, with the same mindset, same. Uh, Attitude, and uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. Christian, they whittled the lead from from twenty, I think, down to ten, and then you guys just took off. Uh, what was it like in in the huddle before that that kind of triggered, and you know what what kind of led to that? Um, we just stopped. I don't, I don't know. I guess we stopped playing defense, and they made a couple made a couple of tough shots here and there. But you know, we regrouped, and uh, you know, we started playing defense and we started moving the ball and, and got out in transition a little bit. You know, once we. They were kind of playing impressed, so we couldn't really run too much. But you know, once we get out of range, you know, we can score a kind of shot up. You guys go on the road, I guess, to start the Big Ten play. How much confidence is uh, winning at Evansville and NC State give you guys going uh, into the, to the road on the Big Ten? Well, it definitely helps. You know, getting those two road wins uh, previously, and um, but like I said, we attack each each game the same way. I'm, I'm like a broken record, but. That's what we got to do, and um, it'll be big uh, for us to be able to do that in the big time. When you guys go into road games like that, I mean, how big is it to have your depth kind of hitting threes or, or kind of producing, and, and how much would it affect you guys to, to lose one of those guys, maybe like Will or, or any other bench guy? Yeah, well, that's just like Matt was saying, just all the hard work we put in the off season, the next guy, next man up. Um, like he said, it's unfortunate that it was injuries, but uh, we have a bench who are fully capable of coming in, uh, not losing any, any energy, and that's a big part of, of our team and why we're successful. Matt, can you, as a senior, can you put in perspective what it, what it means that, I mean, you guys have already won as many games as you had in any season in your first three? I mean, it's it's obviously a great accomplishment for us this year, but at the same time, coming into the season, we knew that we had. We had a team that was capable of a lot of things, and uh, it was important to us to prove each day 
whether it was competing against each other all summer or in the preseason leading up to our first game. And uh, we just really take it one game at a time. And we know that we have a team that's capable of a lot of things. We've got great depth and uh, a lot of guys who can step up and make plays. And uh, as long as we keep building and keep getting better every day, we're, we're just going to keep improving and uh, taking it one game at a time. Jordan, have you guys had a chance? I know you take it one game at a time, but do you watch other Big Ten teams? And can you assess what your thoughts are on the conference this year? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we watch basketball all the time. Uh, in our free time, that's what we do. I mean, we just watch basketball. So um, it's a strong conference, as always. And we're excited to get this uh, thing going. And um, you know, we got a lot of tasks at hand, a, a lot of hard things coming up. So we just got to be mentally prepared for that. Anything else for the guys? What did happen on the free throw? Did I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get a standing ovation for missing one before? No, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm so mad about it.